from the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. I'd like to welcome you to Mount Rushmore National Memorial. And for this video, what I thought I'd do is give you the ultimate one day itinerary for seeing everything you wanna see at Mount Rushmore. If you come here, I would highly recommend you hitting the first store that you see on the left hand side when you enter the memorial and pick up what they call a wand. This is $6 to rent for the day and it highlights through an audio tour 20 plus stops that you'll see here at Mount Rushmore. We are here on your map, number one, and then you'll see placards along the presidential trail with the numbers that correspond with the chapters on the map. So from the observation point, we are now going to the Presidential Loop Trail. This will take us as close as we can to the base of the monument. This is a really cool stop right here. This is the tunnel that leads to a special view of Lincoln and Washington. As a matter of fact, when they started to carve this thing out, it was intended that only those two presidents would be shown. So due to so many factors, Borglum was required to alter his plans a number of times, countless times. Even the model revisions took nine different stages. create this monument, a half million ton of rock need to be removed. Some of it was done by drilling, the majority was done by dynamite. So this observation point will be officially the closest we can get to the base of the monument, and it's crowded up here. This place was originally called Black Cedar, Black Hills. It's always been called the Black Hills, always will be called the Black Hills. Originally called that by the Lakota Indians. Again, interesting part, sad part of American history. Fort Laramie Treaty was broken when they discovered gold out here and of course the westward expansion, but I have been told that those relationships have been improving significantly. So before this place got really crowded, this was the original observation deck. Let's go check it out. Now we're off to the studio, built in 1939, served both the father and his son, Lincoln. This was the third and final studio that they built. You know, a lot of people dismiss Mount Rushmore as being nothing more than a tourist trap. It does get crowded here, no doubt about that. But I'll tell you what, I really believe with all my heart, this is something everybody should see once in their lifetime. The pictures do not do it justice. When you get here, you will be amazed by this monument. Great Ranger presentation. A little tough to understand him with that mask on. 11.30 right now. Let me take you to one more stop before we move on to our next destination. It's gonna be a quick one, but this is the museum. If you come to the museum, make sure you watch the movie and get your park stamp. The amphitheater is empty, but we'll be back tonight for the evening show where we'll witness one of the greatest patriotic displays that you could ever imagine. 
as you can see the parking here is a parking garage and it fills up quickly so get here early so it is 12 o'clock right now we're gonna step out and grab some lunch but don't go away because I have another great stop for you here at Mount Rushmore What most people do is what we did this morning. It takes maybe four hours to do all the things that we accomplished that you've seen so far on this video. Obviously, you gotta get back at eight o'clock for the evening show. So the question is, what do you do from like lunchtime to dinner time, so to speak? I'm sure most folks go back to their hotel, jump in the pool, maybe hang out in Keystone, but I got a special activity for you today. Check this one out. So you're probably familiar with the Hall of Records that is on the top of Mount Rushmore, kind of behind Lincoln's head. The full project was never brought to completion, but there definitely is something up there. And I called the park offices out Mount Rushmore and basically begged with them to get a private guided tour from a park ranger up to the top of the monument. I knew it was a long shot, but it couldn't hurt to ask. I pulled every stop that I could think of, and although she was very sweet, uh, she, she wouldn't be persuaded in any way. She basically said the administration doesn't allow people up there anymore. So with all that said, I thought, what would be a good substitute? And on the internet, I found this hike. So we were going to the top of Mount Baldy. And the thing that's neat about Mount Baldy is when you get to the top and you look toward Mount Rushmore, you are looking to the back of the monument. So we went this morning as close as we could to the front of the monument, and now, this afternoon, we're going as close as we can to the rear side of the monument. It's 1.5 miles each way, wrinkled rock climbing area, and I would advise you to get specific directions off the internet. Okay, so you can see the granite flow right here. That will enable us to start our ascent, which will take us to the top of the mountain. All right, so we made it to the top of that rock flow. Now here's what I'm looking at. Semi-steep, not too bad. Good traction with my trail runners on. Going up this granite face right here. All right, so we got ahead of us. We gotta be getting close. Here's what we just came up. And there's our trail up to the top. So we have made it to the top, and somewhere out there, I'm supposed to be looking at the back of Mount Rushmore. I don't know which mountain, but check out this pano. This is beautiful. <laughs> check out that old train going by. And by the way, if you're waiting for that evening show, and you got a fear of heights, or you don't want a strenuous climb, I skip this one. Stay in the pool. And that's where we're going to take you right now. Boom. Well, we said we were going to take you to the night show, but not yet. It's five o'clock right now, and uh, we're going to do some dinner. I'm going to go to the same place I went to with Caleb back in 2017. Check out this one, then the night show. So for dinner, it might not be the most Western meal, but I can't resist a good Reuben. Well, as you can tell, we are officially back for the evening program. It's seven o'clock right now. Show starts at eight o'clock.
What an incredible show tonight. Just a tremendous celebration of our amazing country. You know, you come to the evening program here at Mount Rushmore, and I tell you, it's almost as good as seeing the monument itself. I am so thankful to be an American, not just because what I saw tonight, but because what I've experienced for all of my entire life living in this great country. Well, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. I hope you found this video helpful, maybe even uh, entertaining. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you can get out here yourself. Remember, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. God bless you.